Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be the Planetary Awareness reading. Oh, I just realized I grabbed my wrong journal. Hang on one second. So the planetary awareness is talking about all of the planets in our solar system and basically giving you um, life advice and advice about yourself. So I have my spread here <laughs> because I, it's hard for me to remember um, all of the placements. So I'm going to have that here. And what I'm going to do is shuffle the cards. I just hope this doesn't fall. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we're going to use a few decks in this reading, okay? The Rider Waite Tarot, we're going to use the Mermaids, specifically for um, Neptune. Let me move this here. We're going to use the Mermaids for Neptune, and we're going to use the... Victoria Francis Oracle as our Oracle deck. I love this deck. It reminds me of fall and who doesn't want to feel like fall right now? It's so hot. <laughs> I also have the Vertigo Tarot. Actually, you know what? Let's just stick with the Rider Waite. Let's not use Vertigo. We don't want too much dark vibe in this reading. And then... Of course, the Arcana, Astrology, Astrology, Arcana, or I don't, I don't even remember what this deck is called. <laughs> so let me pull our beautiful planet cards. Just make sure this is, okay. Our planets, so we're going to do, um... Where are our planets? Are they at the beginning? No. Venus, Mars, Mercury, Earth, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn, the Sun. I think that is it. So let's put these in order. We have the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Perfect. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is as we go through the, the um, planets, I will be shuffling cards and all of that. So the main cards we're going to be using are the Oracle and the Tarot. And then, of course, the Mermaids when we get to beautiful Neptune. Okay, so the Sun. The Sun is you. The Sun is all about your energy. This is who you are, the vibrant energy that you bring forward into this life everything about you so right now and then keep in mind that this reading is pertaining to right now um your energy right now and the four of wands beautiful so right now <clears throat> you're definitely in a very good energy in your life it's shifting so anytime the wheel of fortune comes up it's it's almost telling you to get ready and hold on because the stuff is going to be moving the wheel is turning your life is changing um wheel of fortune energy can be lessons that we have to learn this could be karmic okay this could be um necessary for growth and change but it's also telling you um, you're shifting yourself. Your personality is shifting. Your, um, your personal needs, your interests, all of that is shifting. 
we have the four of wands so it's making me feel like perhaps the home life is what's changing either you're in the move you're in the process of moving or thinking about it this could also be maybe moving in with a lover and this could be your foundation in general feeling more stable maybe you're feeling stable at work maybe you're feeling more stable in your life in general you know Four of Wands could be any of that. This could also be celebration. So maybe something's popping up this month that gives you a reason to celebrate over or a friend's wedding or, you know, things like that. Um, you know, we can be very, very, um, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Like we could just be very basic like that and say, okay, it's a celebration that's popping up. But I also feel like the foundation is changing around you because foundation I associate with the four um, and the fact that Wheel of Fortune comes up is just telling me it's a shift in yourself, in your life. So hang in there. Big changes are on the way for you with that. That's beautiful. Your personality, you, who you are because it's the sun card with the Wheel of Fortune, it's also guiding me to tell you um, very much pay attention to the karma that you give onto others. So the way that you treat others, the energy that you put out into the world, your personality and how you exhibit that. Pay close attention to the way that you are acting because that's that's going to be very um, prevalent in your shift. So perhaps you're starting to see attitude change in yourself. You know, you're growing up. You're you're just being more mindful. Okay. Next we have <clears throat> Mercury. So beautiful Mercury is the message from the divine. So this is, uh, Mercury is all about communication. The way that we communicate, the way that we, you know, we speak up, we speak our truth. But in this aspect, in this reading, we're going to look at it as the message from the divine. So we're going to pull an oracle card. So let's shuffle. Create boundaries and bravery. Beautiful. Isn't this a gorgeous card? Um, okay, so the divine, your spirit, your spirit guide, however you want to associate this with um, the communication, the message that they're giving you is to create boundaries. They are asking you to be brave. They are asking you to see the importance of setting boundaries for yourself in order to protect who you are to protect your energy field as well, but also be very weary. I feel like they're saying, be careful with the kind of people you've been trusting lately. Um, I really feel called to say that there have been people who don't have your best interests in mind. Um, and I feel like you've, you've been feeling that as well. The more successful that we become in life, the more enemies we make, the more um, admirers we have, but not, not, not necessarily a positive admirer, it's more of a negative. And so, Keeping that in mind as well, success is amazing and, you know, personal growth is great. When you're doing good things for yourself, you would think that everybody would be happy for you, but sometimes we attract the opposite. So I also feel that that's very necessary with the wheel of fortune. Um, I feel like it's, it's karma. So I feel like you're seeing that. Maybe you're seeing... Um, you know, certain friendships are falling apart. Maybe you're seeing, seeing people are distancing themselves from you that used to be very, very much involved in your life. And that can be hurtful, you know, I, I know I've been there. Um, but also it's necessary because when we are growing and we're advancing in life, um, we have to do that. We have to set boundaries. And sometimes it means walking away and distancing ourselves from people that we once cared about. So I feel like that's your message there. Um, and also because Mercury is communication and it's like saying bravery and setting boundaries, I feel like it's also when you're expressing yourself and expressing your truth because you, um, you, I feel like you, you do the, you do a lot of that. You do a lot of expressing who you are. You do a lot of putting yourself out there for people to see almost like your, you know, your, your, your life is out there for everyone to judge, um, 
sometimes you have to put boundaries around yourself and maybe you're you're starting to realize that you can't always be full-blown open book anymore because people just don't they don't deserve that they don't respect it so I feel that's an intuitive message for you um, only you will know what that means Venus so next we're on the planet of Venus. This is all about the love forecast for you. So the future forecast in love. I don't know if you're in a relationship or if you're single. So I'm going to read it both ways because um, I don't want to be one way and, <laughs> and not read it the other. So we're just going to read it from both aspects. Okay. So Venus, the planet of love. Let's talk love. Let's talk um, relationships. Let's talk. Ooh, look what just popped out. I didn't even have to shuffle. Um, we have the lovers. We have the eight of cups and the fool. So that's funny. Okay. <laughs> so we're talking about relationships. So the lovers card, the eight of cups, and the fool. Eight of cups is walking away from something. It's the journey forward. And the fool card is a new beginning. So either you are fresh out of a relationship. Maybe something didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Um, either way, you are seeing the light again. Okay. So if you have been in and out of a relationship for quite some time, maybe you guys have been teetering on breaking up. This is kind of showing your, your final steps. I am moving on. I don't need this anymore. And you're headed in the direction of new beginnings. So something new is fresh and starting. Okay. So that's if you're, um, you know, on the verge of being single. Um, you know, so keep in mind, full card can show um, new things coming. Okay. So a new beginning. This could be dating. This could be meeting someone new. That sort of thing. But what, in, what is required of you is to walk away from the baggage of the past. So leaving that behind in order for you to meet someone new. If you're in a relationship, this can be um, the desire and the need for the two of you to spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. This can indicate going on a vacation, really making a chance to reignite your flame, okay? The spark of love, all of that. And the fool card, again, is like adventure. It's a vacation. It's approaching your guys's relationship from a new angle you need change okay sparking that love again enhancing it so that's what i'm seeing there with your venus um next we have the earth and the earth card is about the future forecast so we're going to be looking into the future of what's coming up for you so earth is future i'm going to pull a tarot and an oracle card for this one Ooh, we have the hermit. I love the hermit. I always get so excited when he pops up in readings. He's one of my favorite cards. And we have self-confidence and lessons. Oh, beautiful. So what is on the future? What is on the horizon for you? Hermit energy is seriously inner growth. It's you becoming familiar with who you are. Maybe this karma change, this wheel of fortune we were talking about, is the shift in you. Your personality is changing. You're growing up. You have new interests. And the hermit is all about um, experiencing and diving into those things. The self-confidence and lessons card is really, it's just like, to me, it's just a shift in your personality. It's you seeing your life lessons for what they are rather than um, blocks, rather than um, unfortunate events. You're actually learning the value in your struggles of your past. So that's a big one. Um, the, the Hermit card is just all about inward introspection. You are just really diving in and who you are. So the future is showing me a lot of inward thinking, inward investigating, learning more about yourself. Spirit just put in my mind birth charts. So I don't know if you've ever looked into your astrology birth chart, but maybe that is something you're going to you're going to want to dive into for the future. Um, that's a great way to learn a lot about yourself, by the way. So if you are ever interested in that or you're curious, let me know. Um, I can give you some tips on, you know, looking into your birth chart and all of that. But that might be something you want to do. Um, next we have Mars. This is what is blocking your blocking your ability to be creative and action oriented. Mars energy is all about manifesting. It's all about action. It's all about, you know, sexual vibes, your fiery like 
attitude, your aggression. That is Mars energy. But we're looking at it as what is blocking you from having that, okay? So let's pull a tarot card. Ha! We have the Magician. So the Magician as being a block, usually this is actually the, the energy that helps you manifest what you want. So to, to find this, that this is a block, I feel it's more of um, lack of confidence, but also lack of, um, you don't have a muse. So you, you're lacking inspiration. Really placing yourself in situations, um, like for me yesterday, I was spending time outside. I was doing a reading for a client and I was sitting outside. I very rarely go outside. I don't like being in the sun. But I did that and I was in nature yesterday and it was very nice to feel the wind in my hair and just being outside near the grass. So I feel like for you, what is blocking your growth is the fact that you're not inspired. And when you're not inspired, a lot of times that means you have to switch up your routine. Switch up the daily routine, switch up your activities, switch up the kind of books you're reading, the subject matters you're reading about, that kind of thing, okay? Next, we have Jupiter. This is the planet of luck and fortune, okay? But we're going to look at it as the career and money forecast. So <laughs> what is coming up in the future with money, your career, your finances, all of that? And it's calling for a two card. So let's do, um, let's do two tarot cards. So the future of your money... Four of Pentacles <laughs> and the world. I love it. Good things coming, okay? Bills, debt. If you have certain bills or debt, I feel like the world card is saying you're going to finally close out that credit card. You're going to finally catch up, okay? So if you're worried about that. But the Four of Pentacles is asking you to be wiser with your spending habits. Um, this is really guiding me to tell you to save more. I feel like you're not saving enough money. I feel like you need to stop spending so much on things that maybe you don't necessarily need. I had to also make that same decision. I'm really pulling back on how much decks I purchase and all of that kind of stuff um, because I have a goal in mind for what I want. So make sure you're setting goals for yourself for your future but i do see that the world card is kind of showing that completion so i do feel this is signifying paying off a bill um you're paying off the credit card or whatever it is that you're trying to to get a handle on it's coming in the future you're going to be able to do it but i also feel like what's going to help you is really paying attention to how much you're spending okay so putting some of your money into your savings account rather than spending it on food or you know fun extravagant outings and that kind of thing saturn next is saturn saturn is all about long-term goals for transformation so whenever saturn comes up your saturn return usually happens when you're in your 30s um usually a major change happens it's a shift it's a lesson it's a transformation, but it doesn't happen without a price, okay? So even though we are transforming and we're, we're changing, which is like what was happening with you right now with your sun card, with the with the wheel of fortune, it's not going to happen without a price. So some, it's like almost like, okay, you want change? Well, something else is going to have to happen in the meantime. So let's see what your lesson for transformation is. And we're going to pull the oracle card. Let's see, we're at 18 minutes, so we're doing good. Ah, determination and focus. What are we determined and focused about? Let's pull a second card. Obstacles and feeling unsupported. Obstacles and feeling unsupported and determination and focus. I feel like this kind of is a lesson with the fact that, like I said before, that some people are distancing themselves from you and they're not your biggest cheerleaders like you thought they would be. Your support system is changing. So friends that you thought you could count on are no longer able, you're not able to count on them anymore. Um, the, the friends that you do have in your life in general are changing, okay? So different people. 
the determination and focus is also telling me that you're you're setting new sites for yourself. So you have a goal for your future, things that you want different, things that you want to obtain. People and the, the kind of people that you attract nowadays are not the kind of friends that you used to have in your past. I also feel that is necessary to say. Um, I feel like a lot of the karma cycles that you're le learning about with Saturn is definitely your social circles. I feel like that's a big one for you. The kind of people you hang out with, the kind of people you trust. Um, I also feel like this is a lesson, especially like we were talking about with this hermit card. I feel like you have, you're, you're going to be learning a lesson with trusting yourself and not relying on other people to help you, not relying on other people to solve your problems. That's a huge one, especially if you were used to running to friends when you were in a pickle. <laughs> That's a big one. When you finally realize, oh my gosh, I can take care of my own shit. I don't need people to help me. That's a huge accomplishment. So I feel like that's also something that is on the horizon for you that you are going to be learning about, that you are going to see the lessons and the value in, okay? So if you're feeling it, if you're feeling like you're struggling right now with your social circles and your friendships, it's happening for a reason. You need these people to fall out of your life for a reason, okay? Now let's talk about Uranus. Beautiful Uranus. This is all about enhancing about yourself to stand out from the crowd. So what do you need to enhance, to stick out, to be independent? Because Uranus is all about really that, that quirky energy. Uranus is not like everybody else. They do what they want to do when they want to do it. Um, so what do you need to do to stick out? What do you need to do to be more individual? Let's see. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands, beautiful. You're definitely been, you've been pondering. I feel like you've been pondering a career change. You've been pondering, you know, the, the way that your money is being spent. There's a lot of material changes on the horizon for you. You're bored. You are looking for something, an activity, whether it's a hobby or a way of making money that is going to bring in something different. You're also it's, it, like thinking about change, moving, okay, changing locations. That's what the Two of Wands is all about. Um, so I do feel like in, in order to stick out from the crowd, maybe there is something quirky that you like, that you're interested in, that you should dive into further. Um, I think that that's going to be nice and helpful for you. I think you do need a career change, to be honest with you. Neptune. Neptune is all about illusions, our psychic connection. It's all about your hidden desire and how to obtain it. So this goes hand in hand with Uranus, you know, your desire to um, start a new path with work or moving, your new journey, your spiritual awakening, whatever it is, whatever call you're feeling, you're being called to move and change. So how do you obtain it? This is what Nap Neptune energy is. Let's look at the mermaids. The unseen, too much is hidden from you. Transparency, honest, authentic, genuine, and present. It's, that's actually, these are like the complete opposites. Unseen and then transparent. This is, to me, um, telling me the unseen could be your psychic abilities, your ability to see spirit or feel spirit. Um, so you might be one of those people that you have senses that, you know, you're able to feel that. Maybe tapping more into that is actually something that wants you want to do more, that is inspiring you. Um, transparency is also being more of your authentic self. Who you really are um, is not who you were five, six, seven years ago. This is also another reason why your friends have been changing when you're going through a spiritual awakening your friendships will change so i do feel like um that is also on the horizon with you too um spirit work perhaps or dealing with your psychic abilities reading cards that kind of thing some sort of an interest has been um grabbing your attention lately um and neptune is asking you to call to answer the call and finally we have pluto pluto is your shadow self pluto is the dark part of you so let's pull a tarot card and a oracle card for this one. 
So the shadow self is like everything that we don't want to see or that we don't want to deal with. But it's still there, locked away safely. Judgment. Being judged by others. Being judged by your own um, upbringing. Perhaps maybe you were brought up in a very religious household and so you feel guilty about the things that you are interested in or your abilities because maybe you were <laughs> you were raised to believe that you were evil for that um i can relate to that for sure maybe your judgment this is on other people or you judge yourself because you're not where other people are in their life and you feel like oh my gosh what's wrong with me the need to take action it's time for you to stop letting yourself live in your past in your pluto to stop looking at your past as hindering your growth it's time for you to take action so turning your your inconsistencies turning your pain your sadness your mistakes the the moments your unfortunate moments in life turning it into goals turning it into a way to inspire you to make better choices for yourself in your future so I'm gonna go ahead and move this camera over here so that you could see your cards. Um, I really, really want you to just really sit and think after you after you see this reading, to really sit and think about yourself um, because I do feel like there's some big changes that you have been wanting to make about yourself with your life. Um, and I think you're on that brink. I feel like that's exactly what this Wheel of Fortune card is all about. So. With that, my love, this concludes your planetary awareness. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Um, if you have any questions, please send me an email. Let me know. And anyone who's watching, this is the planetary awareness. It is available in my shop. You can find it by clicking the links below. Um, I will love to read for you. I look forward to reading for you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.